Amidst all the fear and government funds being thrown into climate change research, comparatively little time and effort is spent on a potentially greater threat to life on Earth, the plastic in our oceans. According to a recent UK government report, the plastic floating in our oceans may triple over the next 10 years. The report on the UK government website titled Foresight, Future of the Sea, projected that non-degradable plastic will triple in a decade without further intervention. The harm that this will bring to marine life is potentially catastrophic. The report states that around 70% of all litter in the sea is plastic, which not only accumulates on beaches and strand lines, but also clogs the digestive tracts of birds and fish. Across the globe, we produce more than 300 million tons of plastic per annum. Plastic breaks down into ever smaller pieces rather than decomposing. The area causing the most concern is the Pacific Ocean, where plastic concentration is at its highest level. Dubbed the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, predictions have suggested that there is about 80,000 tons of plastic between California and Hawaii. Unlike climate change reports and computer model predictions that are both difficult to quantify and subject to error, the threat to our oceans by non-biodegradable plastic are both measurable and their effects can be seen firsthand. Another study, which investigated microplastics found in seafood consumed by humans, reported that shellfish could be the greatest source of microplastics in the human diet. If plastics are to increase, then so does the potential for toxicity in the diets of many. And while the projections of increasing amounts of plastic finding its way to the oceans can paint a bleak picture, one innovative young mind is seeking to face this issue head on. Oyan Slat is a name you will likely hear a lot more of in the future. This young Dutch inventor is still only 23 years old, yet at the tender age of 16, he realized the tremendous effect that plastic was having on the ocean. In 2013, he founded a nonprofit entity called The Ocean Cleanup. Slat and his team have secured more than $31.5 million in funding, and for the past couple of years have been conducting tests in the North Sea and Pacific Ocean. They have designed a large-scale floating model that harnesses the ocean current in order to remove plastic debris from the ocean. What is equally as impressive is that by selling the plastic, Slat predicts his nonprofit will actually become self-funded and clear 50% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in just five years. They expect to launch the cleanup system this year, and by 2020, we'll have full-scale deployment across the Pacific. So what is the takeaway from all this? What lessons can we learn from the mess that mankind makes and the ingenuity and creative mind we possess? We are simultaneously capable of achieving great potential and causing utter devastation. One of the first viewpoints we uploaded was titled, Are You a Good Person? In the video, we encourage you to consider your actions and the source of your morality. The decisions we make on a daily basis impacts the lives and environment that surrounds us. How are you going to apply yourself today? I'm Jonathan Riley for Tomorrow's World Viewpoint. Subscribe and click the notification bell to receive updates about new content. Visit tomorrowsworld.org for more articles, telecasts, and booklets. Strong opinions divide experts on how the climate is changing. Is the world headed towards an environmental catastrophe? Or has climate always fluctuated? Is climate change a hoax?